for basically to to Steve and Johnny Mac. Mm -hmm. The target could either be Vanessa or James. We don't know. Yeah. And then um, to Vanessa, the target is. But I want to just get it straight so we don't. Vanessa thinks that it's either got to be Johnny Mac or I'm gonna have to fucking put up a James or a Meg and send home someone. You know. The ones you went to veto. Yeah, it really does. That's all it comes down to. They look so perfect. Huh? Shut up! They are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm making out too much. Oh, sorry. Hey, don't. Don't kiss me. Don't kiss me. I'm trying not to. Can't look at you though. You look too hard. Your speech today was so cute. What? No, actually, it was was not cute. It was, it was twisted. Sexy. Oh, it was sexy. Okay. It was twisted. All right, I throw the hat off and the emotion. But what was it? Victims are we all? Yeah. Say my, it again, say the end quote again. Oh, why is that? That's my reason for putting them on the block. Because I'm a victim, you're a victim. Well, victims aren't we all. <laughs> no. I hate you. You make me look so bad in my stupid ass speech. Yours is so good. I went that off. is a huge TV moment. I went off about life being... I'm, I'm, a, I'm a conflicted as a human being. <laughs> life is meaningless life and is important. Because <laughs> we're going to die. Yeah. But I get to live. I get to love. And everyone, you, you get to live. You looked over there. You get to love. You looked at me. And mm -hmm. then you looked... Some, the last one, you looked at Vanessa. Like something with power. Quest, yeah, quest for knowledge. Knowledge is power. But people in power say what knowledge is. And the people in power sealed my fate. And wait for or two or three weeks ago, and I'm not supposed to be here. Wait, but and I went nuts. <laughs> That's when I just went off at that point. Yeah, but Megan and James think that this is why it was really good that you did that because Megan and James think it was all towards Vanessa. And when I went downstairs to talk to them, they're like, "Oh my God, is Vanessa like freaking out on him right now?" And I like, told Meg too. Don't worry, I was just about that, that, that your Vanessa because I don't yeah, want no, them, I don't it, want James thinking it's about him. You know. Oh, no, they knew. I th okay. It sounded like it was about Vanessa. I know, I just said, hey, Meg, just to let you know, I don't know if James was worried or not, but that was like, directed at him because of his part in that shit, but oh. it wasn't. It was all at Vanessa. Oh, and then and that was she my little, thought it was Vanessa right away. And that was my little, like, hit back at Vanessa. Mm -hmm. so, so we're at odds with Vanessa, but we might not uh, be at odds with Vanessa. So I think we re-secured ourselves back into a good spot if we can secure the veto. Because then, because if, if Johnny Mac goes home, it's the simplest thing to no blood. We need to go home. I mean, if we have to have blood, we have to have blood. But right now, you know, it's the way it is. We have to be hopeful, like last week. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we needed it last week, and you got it, right? Because you're so terrific at all these competitions. Look at my little, <laughs> like, just super bad. Janelle. My super, yeah, my Janelle. I don't know. You don't want to be those. Yeah. No, I can count you. Yeah. And if you get a guest choice, or you choose me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll choose you if I pass guest choice. If I don't get chosen, I want a host. Of course.
I'm glad that you did that to him when you while well, we were in the position with Vanessa. Um, mm-hmm. She's really. And by cool. doing and by and doing I'm that, that it puts did... me in a position with Vanessa where now we're back. Like yeah, she's like she can say like oh you owe me. It's like we're you, even. We're she even. admitted to her lie. I lied. She lied. But why did you think of that? That was so perfect. Because I just knew. I knew that she. We needed to talk. Because this was going to be my reason to put her up. Was when she finally came clean. Mm-hmm. And I was like, this is perfect because I can sit her down. Like she mm-hmm. made me sit down. It was reversed roles. Now reversed she's role, sitting there yeah. begging like I begged for her. her. Like, yeah. It was the same thing mm-hmm. in reverse. And she had to feel everything I felt. So what, how did it go down? You're just like. That week, that list I was like, was all right, here, yeah, here's the deal, Vanessa. Something's been at me. And Who'd I, you, you say know, he told you? I said that I've heard from a lot of people, including James himself, mm-hmm. including Becky. I, that I, I haven't really talked to the twins about this because I wanted to get out of it. Mm-hmm. You guys, they've always, always protected me. Mm-hmm. But I was like, you know, that and the eight-person thing. And this is what kind of got me, too, is that she, she told me right away, yes, I did know about you. Didn't even hesitate to tell me the truth, mm-hmm. right? But then when I said, okay, did you go downstairs and tell Clay and Shelly? And she says, I didn't do it. Johnny Mac is lying. So I think that he might be lying. Why wouldn't she tell me the truth about that? It's not even a big deal anymore. Know, because remember Steve told us that, Johnny, he did tell- that Becky told Johnny Mac? Yeah. Steve, I remember Steve told Johnny Mac. Steve told us that Johnny Mac found out from Becky. And Johnny Mac told us that he found out from Clay and Shelly because they he caught because he walked into the bathroom. Yeah, but I think Clay and Shelly. Here's what might have happened. Clay and Shelly may have just lied to him and was like, "Yeah, Vanessa just told us that these people made any personal lines because they already knew in their minds it was happening because they're smart." It's but we could have been all up there hanging out. That's what I don't get. Like mm, I don't know. All I know is that I think Vanessa's telling the truth. I think Johnny Mac might be lying, and like. Targeting Johnny Mac is always so bizarre in there. It's just like, whoa, you're targeting Mac. Why are you doing that? Like it's, it's, I know. Always is more, I, know. It's more, I want to get rid of him. I'm over him. It's I like, want him to go this week. It's, more, it's just freaky. It's weird. He's weird. Something and weird. he's so awkward. I can't stand it. Something. And you know, another thing that pisses me off is like, he, like he's just so like. We could be like, totally wrong, but like. It's just no, weird. he's just like, he's just annoying. Like. Literally, you see me. I, I don't have. We don't have fun with him. Like we have fun with Megan. We don't have fun with him. He is just like dead weight. All he does is sleep all day. Then like he sees me struggling with the trash. Him and John. I mean John and Steve, and they don't even offer to help me. It's like, why does a girl always have to be the one to take out you? the trash? No, never. And they were sitting down at the That's table it, and they gone. saw me struggling. That's what, per- perfect. That's a perfect. <laughs> No one makes you take out the trash. Oh, no. Especially if it's a heavy one, and that one was mm-hmm. heavy. You'd go get me. You were in the dining room for yeah. two hours, flirting with freaking Amy. Cool. Okay, Amy doesn't mean anything to me. Sorry. All right, you're the one that's really gonna care about. You don't really want to care about. You don't want to be with. Wait, you have your freaking flirts in there. I don't. Yeah, I don't, don't even try. <laughs> okay, I know. I like, I like Robert. See? I know you're doing <laughs> shit behind my back. So it's fair game. As long as no one touches anyone. Okay. As long as you don't go behind that camera. All right. <laughs> okay. Right back at you. I'm not. I'm not. You're my girl. I want to shower with some music and nap. Okay. Whatever you want. It's your week. To have. It's your week. I'm I, and I'm gonna cook for you. Oh. You may ready to eat the steak. Yeah. I'm in there. You can marinate them. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, well, I'm gonna probably go work out downstairs. So do it when you're down there. Let's see if I can injure Johnny Mac before the veto. Did you talk about that? Hey, look, Jay, I'm like, if you didn't fuck up, you could have won the HOH. You were the no, favorite. You really did. And you know, I wouldn't have you won the HOH. Me and you in the finals, I would have thrown it. Who? No, you and Johnny Mack? Probably. You know, you should have. But when it was me down and me, Steve, and James, I could have thrown it and seen who won between James and Steve, but James is going to win 100%. James is win. You know? Well, then that means that you don't trust James either, then. Not that I didn't trust him, but like, I kind of just wanted to win. 
I kind of tr- I trusted him out there. But I kind of wanted you to win too. It's it more TV time, more like TV whatever. Time and it's more like you never know if you're gonna get another chance to win one. And you know, like, what if it's super hard from now on and you don't win anything? In know? worst case scenario, we take out a, a team that's eventually, eventually going to be against us. Mm. In worst case scenario, we take out somebody in the way of us making it to the end. All right. Mm-hmm. So, and I need to be there um, with you as long as possible. So, if we have to take out a freaking, you know, one of our alliances, oh well, as long as all the other alliances are still on board, right? It's going to have to happen eventually. Mm-hmm. I mean, if James was up here, we would have been sweating bullets today, wondering if he's going to double-cross us. Still in the video, he could be double-crossing us. Mm-hmm. Wondering what Vanessa's saying. Is he going to put up Steve and Johnny Mac like he's supposed to? I mean, I'd rather just do it myself. Mm-hmm. You know, and then get my big moment down there to do the nomination speech, throw the top hat, do the Edgar Allan Poe line. It was perfect. Yeah. Like, at first I was, like, shitting breaks that it wasn't Vanessa. But then I'm like, oh my, why are we scared of Steve? He's a freaking little nerd. No, Steve needs to come Like, correct. calm the fuck down. Stop telling me who I'm going to put up, Steve. Yeah. You should have won the HOH done. False start. Yeah. You know? I explained my situation to you, Steve. And now all of a sudden, as soon as he's up, I get it. I totally get it. Ten minutes earlier, or an hour earlier, he's like, no, 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 mm-hmm. no, no. But now it's, I get it, I get it, I get it. But we got Vanessa in the room. We told him, hey, this is the vote. It's right here. She'd give him the word. And if word, anyone, word, word. And if anyone, now she's she's indebted to, like, not only you, but, like, all of us, obviously. Now she's so super indebted she, to me. So if you ever put, if you were ever put on the block because of this, you have three votes. Yeah. Right. So now I just secured Vanessa. And Vanessa is someone that if she's loyal, it's good because. She is. She has no one else at this and point. And she'll be strong down the stretch for us. I know. And so could Steve. So could Steve, I know. You know, hey, Steve, win the day's call. Take out James Major's call. Do it, you know? Hey, Johnny Mac might come right back in the door. You know? No, Becky might come right back in the door. Seriously, if anyone were to come right back in the door that I took out this week, he's the least of my worries. Oh, I know. You know, that's the thing. Anyone else would be very much a worry. He could he should be the least of the worries. So why not make him mm-hmm. the one that comes back in the door? I know, that's a great argument. Be like, look, this is the this was a shitty week, week to win HOH, and you know that, and someone can be coming back through the door, and he is the least person I would be mad about coming back into the, yeah. walking back to the door. Now he might want to target me, but, well. He has to pay the consequences, and that's me. Yes. Yes. That's my babe. Give me a kiss. I get a kiss for that. Try to get me down. I don't want to hurt your arms. Well, I'll oh. tell you if you're hurting me. <laughs> oh, you're you are. <laughs> no, you can't do that. Jesus. I don't want, I'm going to hurt you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I can feel it. <laughs> oh, God, see, you're going to get hurt. Oh. Please center your microphone. Whoa. Whoa. It's like, not even here. Right it's in your armpit. Oh. <laughs> Really? <laughs> it's censored. What? No. She was gonna shower. Leave okay, her alone. Yes. She was gonna shower. Leave her alone. No, I'm like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I better not be in there for no two hours. Uh, maybe not. What am I going to say if they're like, what did you think of that? <laughs> um, that was sexy, like you said. I'm not saying that. Why not? You said it on your <laughs> feet. It's the same thing. What's say, an alternative? It was hot. I don't know. I'm going to be like, I was thoroughly confused. However, it was much appreciated. No. Well, sell me out. You got to act like you understood that. That's selling yourself out. Come on. Because <laughs> it was very uh, straightforward. It was romantic. It was romantic, that's what I was saying. It was trying to be darkly romantic. Because I was trying to be angry and still say nice things about you. <laughs> but not too much. I'm going to say it was dark yet romantic. Perfect. Okay, I need to get ready. Bye. 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 Deviled egg! I know I'm going to be
gonna be there for like two freaking hours. I thought you were gonna shower last. Fuck this key, man. <laughs>